Good evening. According to the World Health Organization, the first reported case of the Omicron COVID-19 variant was on November 24th from South Africa. Exactly one week since then, the first reported case of that variant in the U.S. found today here in California. 23 ABC's Brianna Willis joining us live after speaking with local health officials and doctors about what you can do to protect yourself. She joins us now. Brianna. Keely, while the variant has made its way to California, it has not been detected here in Kern County yet. But right now, officials say the best thing you can do to protect yourself is to continue following health and safety guidelines. What can we do with this potential new variant, um, the Omicron? Get vaccinated. Exactly one week after the World Health Organization identified the first reported case of the Omicron variant in South Africa, it has now arrived in the United States with the first reported case in California. We found the variant now, but it doesn't mean it hasn't been in the community or in the country for a while. Uh, we're learning that the variants are, are already in other places and that maybe it was in other places before it was in some other places too. Chief Medical Officer with Adventist Health, Gassan Jamaluddin says officials still don't know much about the Omicron variant. As it relates to the Omicron virus, we still don't know. What we know is that in South Africa, the number of uh, cases reported per day in November jumped from 300 to 3,000 by 10 times. And then when they sequenced this virus, they found that it is a different virus than the Delta. Officials say some of the best things you can do is to continue following health and safety guidelines like social distancing and wearing face coverings and continuing to wash your hands like we have been since the beginning of the pandemic. I don't want to miss how important it is to continue all those healthy habits. Uh, maintaining a healthy diet, especially during the season where influenza, COVID-19, and the common cold is circulating. Staying home when you're sick. Wearing your face covering, especially when you're in public places and you're not certain of the vaccination status of people around you. These are all really important steps you can take to protect your family. Associate Medical Doctor with Omni Family Health, Parthiban Winanathan says, while they are still learning about the Omicron variant, vaccines have proven to be helpful with past variants. When the Delta variant came out and also the other variants emerged, we weren't sure if our current vaccines would be helpful, but it turned out that it was helpful and getting the booster makes it even more effective. With Omicron, the scientists are still working to find out if our current vaccinations are effective, and when we find that out, we'll let our community know. Michelle Corson with the Kern County Public Health Department adds they will continue to work with the state as new information becomes available. It's really important that our community knows that we are working in close communication with our state Department of Public Health. And as information is learned, which it will be in the coming weeks from the Centers for Disease Control and the surveillance that's being conducted, we will be sharing that information the minute we learn anything new. California Department of Public Health issued a statement today about the variant, encouraging everyone to remain vigilant and also says they will increase testing at airports around the state to help detect and prevent the spread of the variant. Keely. Brianna, the person who tested positive for the variant here in California, was that person vaccinated? Yeah, according to Dr. Mark Galley, that person was fully vaccinated, but had not received their booster shot yet. Coming up at 6, we'll have more about why officials say more COVID booster shots could be on the way. In East Bakersfield, Brianna Willis, 23 BC News, connecting you. Thanks, Brianna. And as the Omicron variant has made its arrival here in the state, 23 ABC is taking an in-depth look into what early scientific data suggests about this variant. Scientists in South Africa and Botswana detected the new strain, which has about 50 mutations across its genome. In comparison, Delta has fewer than 20. Early scientific findings suggest that Omicron could be more transmissible than Delta. And additional preliminary evidence predicts that Omicron can increase the risk of being re infected by COVID-19. Lastly, Omicron appears to be significantly resistant to antibodies, meaning that vaccines will be less effective against this variant.